Welcome to Fahad's tutorial and this class is about aerobic respirations and most importantly it's the best part of this chapter and of course you know already that in my previous series of classes I was uploading the concept of the chapters in some short forms and here in this video I will only explain about the aerobic respirations and of course I hope you already read out the chapters because especially for English version students and all level students you know that both the respirations have two different types like aerobic and anaerobic in this video I of course I of course I know that you know these figures already because it's already given to your book and these videos I shall explain how these things is going on and then in next video I shall explain how 38 amount of ATP 38 molecule of ATP is produced and then next video I shall explain about anaerobic respiration based on SSC level biology because I already explained that in HSC level biology when you will study about phytology or botany on that level this is more bigger and more elaborative and lots of things included here so if you concentrate on this picture on this figure actually and I hope you understand that that in respirations, in aerobic respirations, we have four different steps. If uh, you can measure one thing, that four different steps. Okay, so let it make it down into different things like number one. So if I say step number one is glycolysis, glycolysis. So from this word, what we understand? Glyco is a short form of glucose and lysis means breakdown. So it means that in this phase or in this step of aerobic respiration because glycolysis are the common step of both aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So in glycolysis glucose will be break down. So when glucose will break down then, then what are the next compounds will be producing and what are the chronology of the process that is the main issue of this tutorial. So here this is glucose and we know that glucose is six carbon compounds. Okay. When the glucose break down this pyruvic acid is producing. So this pyruvic acid is three carbon compounds and also three carbon compounds. So when a six carbon compounds is break down, that means glycolysis is actually the breaking, the breaking down of, of glucose. So the breaking down of glucose is known as glycolysis. So what's going on in step one? This C6H12O6 is the glucose, one molecule of glucose which is six carbon compounds. Now it will be breaking down. And you know that in HSC level botany, this is completely a big description and series of enzymes and reactions is going on here. But in this stage, I will only explain one line that glucose is breaking down into pyruvic acid. So you know it that one molecule of glucose which is six carbon glucose will be breaking down through the series of process with the help of series of enzymes and it will produce pyruvic acid. So here steps and enzymes this is a very important thing it will produce as it is a six carbon molecule it will be CH3 CO C double O H is the formula of pyruvic acid pyruvic acid this one so when it's actually we can say that this is one two three C three H four O three this is also the short form I mean short the, just the number of atoms in, in case of pyruvic acid so C three H four O three or CH3COCOOH is the formula of pyruvic acid. So from that aspect, we can see that here are three carbon, 
so pyruvic acid is 3 carbon so two molecule of pyruvic acid will be produced from one molecule of glucose and this breaking down is known as pyruvic acid and when this glucose is breaking down into pyruvic acid in two separate actions that like this is a one part where it will be producing a different thing and where is the same thing so then what will happen for ATP this is very very important 4 ATP and 2 NADPH plus H plus which actually you can see that this is NADPH2 in short so we can say it 2 NADPH2 will be producing but in the process of glycolysis it is required also some energy to loss so that is why from 4 ATP 2 ATP will be lost so here we can say that from the system 2 ATP will be lost so altogether when glycolysis happens in aerobic respiration when one molecule of glucose is breaking down to produce two molecules of pyruvic acid then 2 ATP will be lost so the production is the production is two molecule of ATP ultimately as because 4 ATP is producing but 2 ATP is lost so 2 ATP is producing and 2 NADPH2 will be produced from the first step of aerobic respiration which is glycolysis and then what will happen in step 2 this is the name of acetyl CoA formation acetyl acetyl coa formation so this is the name of the second step so if i make a, some sort of like a differences in between these two levels and the thing that i need to do a separation mark from here okay so i can say one thing that is when pyruvic acid is formed from glucose then the second step in this second step we need to confirm one thing that pyruvic acid is three carbon compounds so when pyruvic acid will form acetyl coa this is very important this acetyl coa is actually two carbon this acetyl coa is actually two carbon that means from both pyruvic acid as it was three carbon it will lost one carbon dioxide so one carbon dioxide will be going out from the system so as it is lost i mean it lost one carbon then it will produce two carbon two carbon compounds which is acetyl coa and in this case when it is forming these things then one nadph2 and from this corner one na dvh2 will be forming so this is adding with the system so one pyruvic acid will form one acetyl coa by losing one carbon dioxide and producing one nadph2 that means here ch3 co c -O -H will produce acetyl CoA which is actually 2 carbon by losing 2 carbon dioxide as there are 2 pyruvic acid so you can say 2 pyruvic acid will lose 2 carbon dioxide to produce 2 acetyl CoA and it also produce 2 NADPH2 I mean actually this is actually NADH2 this will be NADH2 or you can say this in both cases uh, nicotinamide adenine dinucleated hydrogen or reduced NAD so it would be NADH2 here would be NADH2 uh, NADH2 and also here NADH2 so in this case this will also produce this NADH2 so this is a uh, pyruvic acid which is forming acetyl CoA so each pyruvic acid will form each one acetyl CoA and then it will lose two carbon dioxide so this is two carbon this is three carbon 
okay and then in step three this is the main main part of this which is Krebs cycle and here each acetyl coa each acetyl coa will will enter to the Krebs cycle and this is a long cycle and long listing enzymes is working on and hence it will produce something I mean here is the main production of uh, the ATP it means here will be produce 3NADH2 from one corner 1FADH2 and 1GTP so in other cases the same thing will happen so 3NADH2 1F a DH2 and one GTP will produce and then the whole thing will come to an end that to produce ATP so when Krebs cycle is going on that means from each side acetyl CoA will enter to Krebs cycle to produce this amount of energy from both sides so when it will produce 3 NADH2, 1 FADH2, 1 GTP so from both side the total production is 6 NADH2, 2 FADH2 and 2 GTP so you know it already that the full meaning of GTP is guanosine triphosphate and in case of FADH2 is about flavin adenine dinucleotide hydrogen so these are the energy is producing and then in last phase like state 4 state 4 when electron transport system is going on and this case this produced in ADH2 FADH2 and GTP will form ATP and then altogether this will produce 38 amount of ATP so now if you just watch this the written things here I think you understand and of course uh, you, you people are very talented those who are watching these videos and of course if you just read your book completely and, and giving your full efforts try to understand what is written I think you you understand it well you this videos is also not required to to see but if you don't understand this is for you so this is the figure chronological figure what is written on your book I'm just explaining what is the main part and what is the what is the thing that how to think it to make it understand so uh, yeah, if I if I make you wrapping these videos so you see that this is glucose 6 carbon it will produce 3 carbon 3 carbon pyruvic acid and this breaking down known as glycolysis so you know already that in glycolysis process 4 ATP and 2 NADH2 will be produced but from then ATP is lost 2 ATP is lost so the ultimate production is 2 ATP and 1 is 2 NADH2 and then pyruvic acid will will form acetyl CoA in this formation one carbon dioxide will be lost so from three carbon pyruvic acid two carbon acetyl CoA will be formed and then both cases acetyl CoA will be entering to the Krebs cycle and through this process from both sides these Krebs cycle will be producing the maximum amount of energy like 6 NADH2 2 FADH2 2 GTP and overall then the last step of glycoly I mean the uh, aerobic respiration which is electron transfer system these formed energy will be transformed into ATP and then we find that 38 amount of ATP is producing from one molecule of glucose and this is actually the elaboration of um, aerobic respiration in next video I shall give you an idea that how this 38 ATP is producing so I hope you understand this explanation and of course do let me know your feedback that do you really understand or or is there any limitations in my entire videos so please I mean stay close and of course keep watching these videos thank you so very much